Hello again everybody, uh, James here from Alloys. Thank you for all your questions and keep them coming in and we'll do our best to answer them. I have a question here from uh, Sarah. Good day, I have a question for a medical expert. Last Thursday evening I noticed the nail on my big toe was lifting and coming off. I clipped it back to about a quarter. Um, it's not sore, have just covered it with gauze to keep it clean. What could this be? Thanks, Sarah. Well, Sarah, I have, I have a suspicion there, Sarah, that it could be possible fungal infection. You probably need to go to a podiatrist or a chiropodist, but if you pop into your pharmacy, you could get um, an antifungal cream that you can use just to keep it under control. Usually with those type of infections, especially if the nail is really infected, you probably need a course of tablets and that will entail going to your GP. But if you go to a chiropodist or a podiatrist, they will actually uh, do a really good examination and see what exactly is the best course of treatment. So thank you for that Sarah. We have another question here in relation to um, IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. So it's, hi James, could you ask, do you have to take benefits bowel support every day for IBS for it to work? Thank you. Well IBS as you know, irritable bowel syndrome, um, it's for the last 25 years, uh, from being a, a student pharmacist right up to, to where I am now, I think one of the, the commonest uh, elements I've come across is, is gut and bowel issues, and irritable bowel syndrome being one of them. And one of the things that I, I've noticed is that people, if they, if they moderate their diet and look at their diet, um, that can have a really big impact on irritable bowel syndrome. And so some of the examples of uh, symptoms that you would get in irritable bowel would be bloating, uh, diarrhea, constipation, alternating, coming in, in sometimes with spasm. So from that perspective, uh, it's very important uh, to have smaller meals, that's important, to really, really focus on some supplementation. And what I mean by that is something like peppermint, one a day, maybe some, or you could use something called Calpermin, which is very, very good. And this little product here, which I find really uh, effective, it's Benefits Bowel Support. It's one sachet a day, and it's really packed with um, acacia, which is very, very good for the tummy. It's got really good probiotics, and glutamine to help heal the gut. Uh, peppermint, again, as we spoke about, fennel and chamomile and magnesium. So that comes in a sachet. And as the question goes back to you, do you have to take it every day? Not really. So I would take it for a period if your symptoms are really bad, take it for about two weeks. And also what I would recommend is porridge, a couple of, a couple of bowls of porridge a week because the oats in, in the porridge is actually the Latin name for it is a vena sativa and it's actually very good at calming the gut as well. So I hope that can help. And thank you so much for your questions today and stay healthy and stay safe.